Hey, this is Steve from SewingGold.com, and this is a Speedway SW1341. It's a copy of a Juki LS1341, and I'm going to sew on a few different things to just check and see if it will sew them properly. So, I'm going to sew on some heavy leather first, then I'm going to sew on some, like, Naga hide. I think I have wool or fleece. I don't know uh, the difference, really. I mean, I should know the difference, but it looks, I think it's actually this. I don't know. Not 100% sure what it is. Um, I don't think it's fleece. I've got something else that's lighter, but I don't think this is going to really work. This has got a little forgiveness to it. So, And then I've got like this. Uh, this is from a pair of pants that was cut off. Um, and also some uh, light leather. So I'm going to sew on these different things and see how it goes. Um, I'll just be changing the needle one time. So I'm going to sew on this uh, leather uh, first on this. So we've, we use this numerous times to show customers how heavy leather. It's sort of hard on the side to see. Let's see if it'll focus. Nope, it loses focus when I turn it. So anyways, this is um, fairly heavy. It's two layers of this stuff. It's like a, a very thick, hard leather. It doesn't have a lot of forgiveness. All right, here we go. So that sewed without a problem. Um, it's not going to be the easiest to see with all this junk on here, but it's the middle stitch here. And then if I turn it over, same thing, middle stitch there. Okay. Uh, I'll now sew on one layer of this. Same stuff. Whoops. Can you get that? Nope. Come on, focus. There we go. Front. Let's see if I can get the focus again. Come on. There we go. Back. All right. Uh, the next thing I will sew on is probably the Naga hide because I could use this same needle even though it's a leather needle and this is not really leather. I'm still going to do that and then I'll sew on that light leather too. this light leather. Um, I guess I could do one layer. I'm going to do it with this side up just so you can see the white on the other side. So just one layer for now. Now I do have a size 22 needle in here which I'd probably want to use like a size 18 for this leather. So it's sort of hard to tell because of the texture of this on the front, but on the back I'm assuming we're going to be able to see pretty good. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so I am going to now pause, and this is pretty thin like I said, so I'm going to pause this video right now and then change the needle to a size uh, 18. Um, if I could find a 16, I'll put a 16 and then I'll sew the lighter fabric. Okay, so I didn't change the thread or anything or the tension yet. Um, if I have to do this, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, I would change over to like a T45 thread. This is still T70 thread, no change in tension. This is that, uh, like I said, I think it's wool. I don't think it's, I'm not really great with fabrics. Should be, but I'm not. All right, here we go. Okay. 
and a request was made for a skin, like a hide, and I could not find any. So that's not going to happen today unless I could find some tomorrow. All right, so no puckering going on on this material. Okay. Obviously a lot thinner than the other stuff I was doing. Um, I guess just for sake of argument, I could just do one layer too. See what happens. This one pulled a little bit. And also, when I tugged that in the, the machine, it sort of pulled. So I think I got to do that again. Let me go on to, I'll do that one last. I got to grab another piece of that. Um, I'm going to do the, the thinnest of the bunch. I mean, I would never want to sew on this stuff. This is like from a pair of pants. Honestly, oh, let me grab that phone and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. I'm not gonna thinking we're gonna have I'm I don't think we're gonna have much success with this. Alright. Now, before I tug it out of here, I wanna turn it and see what we got before I pull it out. Actually, it is not bad. So you can see a little bit of pucker, and this is like I said, really thin. A little bit of pucker, but I haven't changed tension or the thread. So now I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to try and hold this good just so it doesn't pucker anymore and then I will, no, it's already puckered. Oh, forget that for now, but you could, from what I showed before, see, as soon as I pulled it out, it did that, but it was pretty good. All right, next, let's try, what else do I have here? Jeans, obviously jeans are going to be perfectly fine. This is going to be two layers, or, or I could do one layer, just to show if it'll sew lighter. Same sort of thing. I don't want to pull it out right now. I'm doing this standing up, sort of like one-handed. So, no pulls. Tension looks pretty good. Even pulling it out, this one didn't pull. A little bit of a tension issue. Obviously, one layer is not the easiest to do. I just have to uh, reduce the tension on the bottom, or actually reduce the tension on the top a little bit to get that from not peeking through. Um, and basically, that's about everything I've got. Um, I did have some batting here that I was just going to sew on. It's about as close as I can get the fleece, but obviously it's not. Um, and I don't have an idea of how this is going to actually sew because you don't usually sew this stuff by itself. And this stuff was fine. All right, that is my demonstration for today on this uh, Speedway LS, or not LS, yeah, copy of the LS 1341, SW1341. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Yeah, I'm not the greatest sewer in the world, and I don't have all the material here, and I'm not an expert in material. Uh, so, like I said, comments below, please be kind. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try and answer them. Okay, thanks. I'm Steve from SewingGold.com.